So as you can see here, I got these sticks. These sticks, I put them up two years ago on this tree. If you look up there, you can see the tree strap. Uh, poison ivy has taken over the tree. He so, was sitting right up there. That's where I had my setup, and then I ended up shooting a buck right up over here. How here. long was the shot? Uh, I don't know, probably 30 yards, 35. The, the, the deer was standing over here next to that big tree right there. I hit him, he ran over there, stopped, and he was dumping blood. And then it walked off. We trailed that deer for like over, I don't know, five to 600 yards. Never found him. Um, but yeah, that's, this is pretty much where it, it all went down. And that's the whole reason we're here. Danny's gotta get redemption. City. We spent all day running around, picking up cameras, picking up my sticks, and a couple other items. Um, but today we're just going to sit the morning and then uh, just go back to the Airbnb and relax and just kind of recuperate. I'm sitting on kind of like a uh, on a creek, and I got a field on my on my left, and I got a field on my right. The field on my right is where we saw those uh, those two um, studs when we were out here scouting the day before yesterday when we were walking in. I saw a doe, a big doe in the field. So I'm kind of hoping she comes through. But I think we're going to sit for another 30 minutes or so. I'm going to go over this ridge on, on this side and uh, set a preset for tomorrow morning. It seems like these deer are very different from Florida. Um, they're very cautious and I mean we have pictures on them smelling the camera two or three weeks later from after we drop off the camera so I guess they're pretty used to getting hunted and uh, know what to look out for I had a little spotted fawn come through like 30 to 45 minutes ago that's all I've seen so I'm cool with that I'm probably going to wait like another 30 minutes and then I'm going to get, <clears throat> I'm going to get down. It's still early. It's like nine o'clock right now and normally I wouldn't get down this early, but like I said before, I'm not really expecting this to, this spot to produce. I'm just trying to check it off so I can walk through here to get to where I want to be. yesterday and uh, landed this morning. I'm like really close to the road. I'm on a quarter a corner of this property where it goes into some private property and there's a road behind me. I have a river, not really a river, it's a creek that runs right here to my right. And then next thing I have this field. Um, it's a small field and then it backs up to a pretty big strip of woods. And that's also her property, but uh, I was kind of hoping to shoot a doe this morning. I don't know if I want to shoot a doe anymore. I just had a big eight-pointer come by, and the leech to ten. I counted five times. Huge rack. This thing was a monster. It was within 20 yards, but it was too dark. They look like they're hard horned already. Again, it's hard to tell. I had to get my binoculars, and that's how I was able to see the rack through the binoculars. I think they're going back into this thing, it's a bed. They came in from right over here. I heard them cross some water back there. They came in and walked this edge. Like this. Walked all of that. And then. certain they're going back there to bed. I think they're feeding there and bedding over here. So I'm kind of in a perfect spot to catch them in between. So we'll see. I just got set up. That was a hassle. Like I got out here and I picked a tree yesterday during the day and I got here 
and suddenly realized there was trees that were blocking probably my best shot opportunities. I don't know why I picked that tree. So I had to move my stand over. I moved over like 20 feet, but it was kind of a hassle. I got about half an hour till, uh, till shooting time. So there's, um, right behind me here, there's some, some fields on private land. And we know there's quite a lot of big bucks there. Right back behind me here, you can see the edge of a lake right over there. And there's a bunch of bedding area right underneath me. Back this way, you can see there's a nice corridor running along the edge of that lake that I might expect them to move down. Over here, I got about a 20 yard shot. Again, lots of twigs, but also good cover for me. Then back behind me here, there's a creek bottom right here running through there. There's a trail running basically right underneath my tree stand, right along the edge of this ridge. And then there's a major trail over this way, right down there that I think that's where mostly does are crossing, but that's where we got the picture of the big buck. And he's the one I'm after. There's probably more than just him, but I'm hoping that he's hanging out in this area, but that he doesn't really use that trail very often. And that I'll catch him over here on this side. Well, I had high hopes for this spot when I saw it yesterday. Um, didn't see anything, so I uh, told myself when I, like, before we came to Kentucky, that I would not waste time on a spot that I didn't see anything in, whether it was morning or night or morning or evening. And, it's totally possible that this spot is more productive during the evening, but I'm looking for the kind of spot that's so productive that there's still even deer moving through during the morning. So, um, I'm going to take my stand out of here, check this area out real quick, and just make sure I'm not making a mistake pulling out of here. And then I'm uh, going to go look for a tree to sit in for the afternoon. All right, so we're uh, trying. We're yeah, licking our wounds. Um, so this morning I had a monster come by me. He was huge. Two monster well. Now we're kind of strategizing. Mark has done moved from where he was at this morning, and we're trying to figure out what our next move is. Yeah, I'm probably like the closest that you want to be to the parking lot. And uh, probably the closest you want to be to a road. I mean, the but, closest you can be. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... But I'm about to move to a spot that's just as close. I mean... He just kicked know, up a buck that was... Yeah, I was... 40, I, 50 yards I was road. waiting for him. And then, uh... I, I decided to walk over and meet him halfway. And I saw some trails crossing the road. So I just, like, popped up into these trails. And there's a field up there. I didn't even really realize it was there. Like, I'd seen it on the map, but I just kind of ignored it, I guess. And I walked up in there, and there was some beds right on the edge um, and some trails going into it. So I just kind of started uh, walking around, and there's a ton of sun. So I started skirting the edge, and I kicked up a deer that sounded really heavy, um, and it was by itself. And so I, I think it's a buck. Yeah, so we've been kind of moving around and trying to figure out different spots and uh, I've had to pass a rough few days where I haven't seen a deer at all from my stand. I've seen them walking around, um, just not from my stand. So today's actually the first deers that I saw from my stand and they happen to be giants. <laughs> um, the second deer that I saw was a doe and she went in the direction that these two bucks went. So it, it's kind of giving me hope. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, we get an opportunity on one of these bucks. And uh, still got a few days of hard hunting left to do, so we're gonna. Yeah. So today's actually the first day that we're actually gonna be hunting 
morning and evening and we're gonna pretty much be doing that for the rest of the time that we're here uh, today is Tuesday so we have Wednesday Thursday and then Friday we leave so hopefully um, we can make it happen I'm always excited about those afternoon hunts too it seems like the deer really get moving in the afternoon yeah so all right adios I just got all set up I had to uh, redo my straps for my camera arm and the uh, platform that I'm using because the ones that I set up earlier, they weren't long enough, so I had to use my tether and my my tether for my um, camera arm, and I had to use my lineman's belt for my platform. But I got those changed out, I'm finally all ready to go. Uh, I'm in the same spot that I was this morning. I'm really hoping that uh, I get a chance at those bucks. Um, the wind isn't really in my favor right now. The wind's kind of blowing in the direction that them, that they may come from. I don't know if this is stupid of me to be doing or um, just really hoping they don't smell me. I sprayed some scent killer on myself and the wind was doing the same thing this morning and I don't think they smelled me. As a matter of fact, I had a, I had a doe come in a little, a little after them and she just kind of like moseyed on through, didn't really take off or it seemed like she knew herself was here. I'll be completely honest. I'm not having a good time right now. It's hot. I'm getting roasted by the sun. I just don't really like the spot I'm in. I mean, like, I know that something was bedding out there earlier, but I haven't seen any signs of life.
and I heard him crash in there, and I heard him like flopping around. some bad shots and I've learned from them um, that that deer had no idea I was here so I felt comfortable making that shot I was able to anchor in and put it put it the dial right on them we've been practicing every day damn it I can't believe this we had terrible signal, but Danny just shot a buck. I gotta get out of this crappy ass tree. We're gonna go find this thing. All right guys, we're gonna review this uh, video, see. See if the shot's good. See if we need to call the dog or not. How far away? Uh, 45. 45, that's a, sh <laughs> I mean, you're a fucking great archer. So it's... And it, you see, he wasn't. Yeah, I know exactly where that tree is too. He wasn't paying attention. It's a stud, dude. <laughs> he's a smaller one of the two. Dude, he's so big. Money, dude, money. <laughs> that deer is dead. Let's see, uh, dude, that's to, a to perfect it. shot. Dude, let's go oh. get this thing. <laughs> dude, that's so badass. <laughs> Dude, this whole place is loaded with game trails. You sure this thing's got a luminoc? You think it's in him? No. Here it is. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, that's good. What is up with your fletchings always coming off? Focus. Oh yeah. What kind of broadhead is that? Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper Whitetail Special or something, right? Yeah. Cool little broadhead. All right, let's see if we got good blood. Oh yeah, here's blood. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. He's bleeding good, so. There's one crashing through here. There's all the sticks out here. Right there on that leaf behind that tree. He can't crash through here. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, look at that rack, dude. Dude, that is a big deer. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> look at those beams, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, that is a stud. Dude, I'm telling you, the other one's towering over him. Where, is, where the? Oh, that's where it went in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Holy crap, dude! Let me see that thing. The <laughs> rookie hasn't had velvet in a while. Dude, this is good. 
That is a chunky deer. Wow. All you experts on the internet, how old do you think this buck is? Because we are far from you experts. Get, you ain't getting any older. <laughs> Alright guys, what a crazy couple days. Um, you know, I, I, I was uh, kind of beating myself up the other day. Because I hadn't seen any deers from the stand. It seems like Mark's been seeing everything. And um, it, I was just, you know, kind of... Uh, bummed out that I hadn't seen anything other than when I'm walking around and uh, yesterday we just did a Hail Mary and dropped a um, dropped a preset in the little corner over here and and uh, looks like I made the right decision because first thing in the morning this buck came through with a, uh, a bigger buck actually and um, just throughout the day I had constant action I was seeing uh, I saw an eight-pointer I ended up seeing another doe I saw uh, the spike and then eventually right around 740 this guy came through and, and gave me an opportunity and uh, as you guys saw, I took the opportunity and I couldn't be happier with the results because, man, um, this trip just meant so much to me as a redemption trip and just, you know, my first out of state hunt. I missed my, or I lost my first deer here and uh, I really made up with it, made up for it on this one. Um, just, just kind of lost for words. <laughs> next year, Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, so next year we're going to be doing Wisconsin and uh see if we can get marked that bigger buck well hey we're not done yet we still got like three more days of hunting so yep. Yep. you know we're gonna we're gonna try and get after those other bucks that you saw and we keep cracking at it yeah just because we got one down doesn't mean we're gonna stop well i can't i can't shoot any more bucks but i can shoot those i'm uh, you can actually you can shoot me with a camera tagged though out. <laughs> tagged out baby <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for checking out this episode, and stay tuned for uh, the next one coming up pretty soon. And uh, make sure you check out our Patreon page. Um, if you haven't already, the link's right above. Um, and also thanks to all our subscribers and everybody giving us support. It's because of you guys that, you know, we keep doing these trips and um, all these cool giveaways and such. So, I mean, this is all for you guys, and we really appreciate everything you guys do for us. Um, you know, I can't say any more things, but just want to stop. Ha, ha, ha.